Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to the KOTOR Mod Showcase. Hello and welcome to another episode of the KOTOR Mod Showcase. In today's episode, we are looking at the Zedi Zar Wars Tatooine OTE Texture Pack. If you're not familiar with the OTE series, it stands for Original Textures Enhanced, and it aims to enhance the original textures, obviously, because that's what the name's about. It does a really good job of taking the textures and putting high definition textures in the place of the rather low end ones, but unlike a lot of other texture packs, it really seems to fit the spirit of the game. Let's get to some comparison, shall we? Uh, one of the biggest things you'll notice uh, that's different is the sand. When you look at the sand in a populated area such as Anchorhead or the Sand People base, you will get this nice kind of walked on texture. Uh, this kind of makes sense since these are pretty high traffic areas and in the vanilla game it looked rather flat and bland. While it may look out of place at first, once you walk around in the area a little bit, it'll definitely grow on you. You'll also notice that a lot of the buildings and everything else have been just darkened a little bit which I think suits the area just a little bit more. When we go to the exterior, the sand is just given a slightly different windswept look. Uh, it seems to go better with the way that the wind in the game naturally is blowing. And then just overall, we have texture enhancements on pretty much everything. From the little garbage cans and the posts, to the blaster marks on the buildings, and to everything in between. Tatooine is a very boring planet. Let's face it, it's a giant desert, there's not a lot to look at, nothing really overly impressive. This mod nevertheless manages to bring life to such a lifeless world. As usual, when we are talking about a texture pack, it's better to let the footage speak for itself, so I'm basically just rambling here and allowing uh, more and more of my b-roll to go on as I talk. In particular, one of the things I really like is the way the rocks uh, fit in a bit better with the sand. These are the area transitions on Tatooine. I just really like them, I'm not really sure why. Now, there's also been some enhancements to the cave where you find the star map of course, but I think the biggest and most prominent feature of this mod is definitely the city since that's the only place that's really not just a bunch of sand. And overall, I feel like this mod actually kind of adds life to the city, uh, as, as weird as that is, because you can see the footprints in the sand, you see all the people walking around, and they just seem to fit better in with the world. Whereas before, it looked kind of bland, pale, and dead. Whether you like that better or not, I don't know, but overall this does fit in with the feel of the game. We tested this mod actually during one of my live streams, which is something I am going to be doing more often. So if you'd like to join me in testing mods, trying out mods, talking about mods for all various different games, uh, keep an eye on my channel. I have a Twitch channel, but lately I've been just streaming to YouTube while we get everything set up, so kind of depends where I go. I'm trying to stream at about 7 Mountain Time on Fridays, but right now it's a little bit sporadic. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you'd like to see more from me, as always, hit that like button and leave a comment. I have been Zul and I hope that you have an excellent day.